Hi guys and welcome back to another channel. Wait, what? Another channel? Wow. Welcome back to the video. That's what I mean. So today we have this spring. Is it? I think it is spring. Bright, you know, graphic liner look going on for you and if you want to see how I got this look then please come and watch him and I'll see you in I have done my eyebrows already as you can see and I have and I used the ABH the brow pomade in dark brown and then I cleaned it up with my illegal pro concealer in phone and done my eyebrows I used my Makeup Revolution Concealer in C14, I believe. Yes. Okay, so today, for priming my eyes, I'm actually going to use my Illegal Pro Concealer in Fawn as well. So for today, for my eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Juvia's Face Volume 1 Blush Palette. When I got this, I simply got it for these four shades. So I'm going to use it for eyeshadows. I don't really care much about these two, but these four shades are literally so beautiful so i got the the whole palette just for those and just to use them as eyeshadows as well not for why the hell is it going down for a minute just for eyeshadows here yeah, basically so that's what we're using that's gonna be the main main thing i wish i had a mirror damn it you don't have a mirror i'm gonna tap it out first before i go in because i don't want to make i want to make sure there's no crease on my lid because if I do have a crease, the eyeshadow is just going to set in the crease. And we don't want that. For my first shade, I'm going to go in with this dark, like the darkest shade in the blush palette. Abby. And so I'm going to take this and I'll put that right underneath my crease and build it up slowly. So just starting low because it's quite dark and I don't want to go too high with this. And I'm literally holding the tip of my brushes, my brush, my brushes, my brush, and just tapping it in. Just walking that in slowly. No rush, take your time. Okay, using the same brush, I'm gonna wipe it off. On my paper towel or tissue, kitchen roll, which I only use in because I already like this brush, it's like my favorite brush, so I'm probably using that like for the whole look. And then I'm gonna go in with this second darker shade, which is like a really warm tone, like red tone brown called Nero, I believe. Don't call me on these names, okay? But well, you can see them on the screen, just don't call me on it. And then I'll put that right on top of it just tapping it in working very very slow see I'm not doing any type of blending just tapping literally just tapping on the product alright and then should I do the pink no, why not? Okay, I'm gonna take this pink shade as well from the same palette and tap that like I did the second shade just right at the edge of it. Just pressing it on, so just tapping right like this. Like so. Clean up my brush again. So if I go in with any other color, make sure you clean up this last one. Unless you're using different brushes, then you know just go in and move on with your life. But if you're using the same brush, make sure you clean up all the product from it and then go for the next shade. So next I'm gonna use this very much loved yellow eyeshadow from the Zulu palette by Jeeves Place. Favorite yellow, that yellow and the sugar pill yellow. I'm gonna just put that 
right on the edge of that all the way to my brow bone. I like having eyeshadows in my brow bone, so I'm gonna put it all the way up to my eyebrows. You can take this as high as you want, depends on your preference. All right, so now that I have all the colors placed on, I'm gonna go in with the orange shade from the brush palette because you know the yellow and the pink make the orange but it's a very harsh transition to make it smoother i'm gonna use this orange right here so it's gonna be very smooth easy transition into the pink orange and yellow so i take a little bit of my fluffy brush just going right in between the two colors just to help blend them and you want to use all the previous colors that you used so i'm going to go in with the pink the warm brown tone and the cool darkest brown in the palette so basically i'm going to go in with the pink and then this one and then this one and the yellow as well just going back and forth until we get a very beautiful blend which is going to be like less than two minutes on here but it's going to be like an hour for me so you know just a fair warning if you're doing it eating that quick okay this is pretty good so I'm pretty happy with that for now so I'm gonna take give me a moment I'm going to take this angle fluffy brush and I'm using my Sample Beauty Paradigm Shift Palette 2 and I'll be using the black shade right here and I'll put that right on this stupid thing can stand. Ugh. Okay. So I'll put in that shade right in my crease, just really low. And I'm working a little bit at a time. Cause it's black and I don't really feel like I want that much black in my look anyways. So I'm just gonna walk that in slowly. And when I get to the edges just tap it out. And blend it into the other color slowly. And I'm going with that dark brown shade from the blush palette. And walked up just around the edges just to give it a more gradient blend. I'm gonna take my makeup wipe and just clean up my lid a little bit, tidy it up so I can see where I'm going from here. I'm gonna use my Bendai Klein Klein My Bendai Focus Okay, I'm gonna use my Bendai Klein White Clown White Base There's so much Perfect just like If you use white a lot like me Get this It doesn't move I've been using it for <gasps> A lifetime now So I'm gonna put a little bit in the back of my hands And walk from there Cause you know, you don't know contaminate the other product and make it all muddy you don't want that and i like to use a small brush some people prefer a big brush i can't handle big brushes okay i don't have control over it so i like small brushes and i'm just gonna tap it's like tap lego see tap and lego tap and lego So I'm gonna go for camera off camera and just make this really nice and neat. I'm gonna say one with this one as well, and then I'm right back. Okay, I'm gonna take my fingers and just tap the product out here. I don't want it to be too sticky, so I'm just gonna blend it out. And I'm gonna use the first shade that I used and just. 
also tapping it in at an angle like so okay i'm gonna work from my other corners and i'm gonna use okay i'm gonna put the pink next to this and then i'll put a blue and then a green and maybe a white or a yellow i'm not sure which one i'm gonna put first but yeah that's the plan for now And then I'm gonna put the blue. I'm gonna take this blue from the Sample Beach palette. It's a very gorgeous blue. And it's a culture palette. And then I'll put that right next to the pink. Oh wow. Do you guys see the pigmentation? Wow. Alright, and then I'll use this well yep this green from the paradigm shift right next to it and then just blend these two together okay i'm gonna take a little bit of my mermaid pink i'm gonna take a little bit of my mermaid I'm going to take a little, little bit of my mermaid pigment my makeup addiction which is this green lemony shade and I'll just tap that lightly on top of my green shade in my inner half of my eyes I'm just taking a little bit because I don't really want pigmentation I just want some shimmer shimmer Okay, so I'm gonna put a liner. So it's between the Silver Beauty Dance Party and Silver Lining. These three. I mean, yellow is gonna look bomb on it, but silver is gonna look good as well. Okay, I'm gonna use Dance Party by Silver Beauty. Yeah, and I'm gonna line my eyes then for this part. You don't want to breathe, you don't want to talk, you don't want to do anything, okay? Like, you did, pretend like you did, just hand movement, that's it. That was so easy to mess up. Mm. I'm going to do the yellow halfway and then do the silver because I don't like the yellow. Yeah, I don't like the yellow. Okay, I like it actually. Wait, do I? Do I? Oh. I'll just do the yellow all over. Maybe I'll like it. Maybe I'll like it. Oh, that looks nice. I like the yellow. I do. I mean, this could easily backfire and make everything look like a mess, which means I'm gonna cry here in pain, in sorrow, but I really wanna do it. Do I take the risk or not? Okay, so I'm gonna do an eyeliner except I'm just gonna do this sketch like the outline of the liner so you see all the eyeshadows inside just a 3D sketch of the liner without filling it in hopefully it works if it doesn't <laughs> it has to work it's going to work I'm gonna use the same yellow Here's the straight line. Hey, what the hell? That is not going in the right angle. Shit. Okay. What the hell is my problem? Okay, so. I 
can't do a line going in the same direction. It's fine. It's fine. That's what we have so far. Oh, on the lashes, I'm using the eight of lashes. So, Bobby, and we don't have eyes. Yawns. Okay, now I'm gonna do my under eyes. I'm just gonna put the colors that I put in my crease under my lash line as well. You could prime with a white eye base or just like a tacky concealer or something to make sure the colors stick on more or be more pigmented. But I'm currently too lazy for that, so I'll just go in like this. I'm just gonna switch this through very quickly because you guys saw how I did it. For my waterline, I'm gonna use the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade. Oh. Okay, the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade. Crest. I think it's Crest. It's the neon yellow. As you can see, we are just in a so neon today. And now put that in my waterline. Like so. Just open up the eye a little bit more. So. For my lip combo today, I'm gonna to use the Joanna Tisha Lip Gloss in Bougie and Clueless. So I put Bougie all around, just all over my lips, and then I put Clueless in the center. It's beautiful, okay? These two together have been my go-to since I have it. But since I got it, it's just this is like it's such a perfect nude. Okay, and then clueless right in the center. It's more like a peachy warm tone nude. <laughs> I love it. Seriously, I don't know why lately. By lately, I mean like two years <laughs> or three. Who knows? I've been obsessed with nude lips. Like, that's it. Like, do you say this look? It's so cute. Oh, 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 wait. Wait. Mascara. I don't really care about mascara, okay? I never did. I never did, okay? Because I don't have lashes, so you can't see my lashes when I put mascara. But this Hunker Henry Jewel, I forgot what's it called, Jewel Mascara, is amazing. Do you see this? Like the comb is so tiny. So people like me who ain't got no lashes. It works miracles, okay? But you guys are gonna see one minute. Like, like this, see this actually grabs onto my lashes. Can you see? Like, I have lashes. <laughs> oh my god. I freaking love this. Like, I never do a look now without doing my mascara because I know this mascara is bomb and like it shows my lashes, which means it makes me look like I have eyelashes, which obviously I want, okay? Okay, guys, so look at it. Look at the difference. Like, oh wait, let me zoom you guys in for you. <laughs> Just attacking your face. <laughs> okay, so you see, mascara. I know you need a moment, it's fine, just take a moment, I know you need it. Jess has lashes. I need to, okay? No more scrub. Before I would just go, I would just take a picture like this because it's like, who cares? I ain't got no lashes, but boo, hey! I have lashes now, and focus, don't be jealous, camera, don't be jealous. I got lashes. Eee. Okay, let me do the other eyes as well. This is it, but I finish look and i hope you liked it if you did don't forget to 
thumbs up, comment and subscribe and let me know what you think. Did we nail it or no? I think we did though. Well, let me know. Let me know. And I'll see you in my next video.